Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside? Lego fan soul brick is in the house and I'm going to talk really fast in this video so that you don't waste your time with me rambling about nonsense. That's not, oh, I'm sorry, I'm started to do it. Anyways, I bought this set yesterday. It's four plus and I am four plus. I've been looking at it since the like leaked images almost a year ago or something, but it was super expensive. It cost like almost 50 euros which is a bit too much because there's not really that many pieces in it but i got it for 29 euros basically so that was a really good price anyways i built this set already and let's hear the <coughs> box drop as you can see it's uh, well it's pretty basic but you do for for almost 30 bucks i got three cars that's uh, 10 bucks for each car which that's a good that's a good price i think we also got these three buildings that are super simple but they do add to uh, to my town i think because i really want to have a car wash next to my octan petrol station i want to connect this corner with the car dealership and the mechanic shop so that we get a, a corner that's just focused on cars and fixing them up and selling and buying and you know all that good stuff so that means that the juice bar has to go and be replaced with this piece instead which i think might work i haven't actually counted the studs and see if that actually does fit but i'm i'm hoping maybe later i'm going to build uh, an apartment or something on top here so we get some sort of residential building going on or an office or I don't know that would be cool and let's have a look at the car it's just a tow truck very simple they're all built on the same vehicle base but it's super sturdy I mean look at this it's just a minifig falling off uh, he survived no problem and I have a four-year-old son at home and he's smashing up all my retro cars all the time. So this, I mean, they did a good job with this, I think. You know, look at that. It just, well, maybe if you would drop it from a higher uh, elevation, but uh, I mean, how, how large is a four-year-old? So that works really good. We have the sports car, nothing to say about it actually. And the tank truck, I guess that's called and the towing truck that I just mentioned and it has this little hook on the on the back side that you can have this canister but for some reason I think it's a canister or maybe it's just some sort of uh, uh, cement weight or something and these traffic cones are, I mean they look good whatever uh, you have these bumpers in the front that it's missing a plate there and that's actually a feature so that you can easily just hook them on like this, like this and you can go around. And it's the same for this one. So that's, a, that's pretty clever. Let's have a look at the buildings. So we have the car wash at first. This is a printed piece. There's no stickers in this set. This is a bit wobbly. It goes like that. It's a, some sort of hose that you can clean your car yourself. And the petrol pump. Also a bit simple, but yeah and you can place money in here but i already lost my money i think maybe i ordered too many th things on uh, bricklink i also like the printing like this octown theme going on that there is really good looking and i like this slope print also it doesn't match up with the actual yellow as you can see there but i mean i, I think it works pretty nicely and this is the car repair shop where you can go in with the car like so not much going on in here you have a crate with some uh, exhaust parts and some uh, tools and funny thing is that the car is of course open on top so, so when you go through the car wash you clean yourself so that's super efficient that's a win-win situation now let's have a look at the minifigs you get four minifigs, a mechanic and a tow truck driver, the Octown tank driver and just a customer. I really like the print on this fella. Looks cool. 
and there's uh, some printing on the back that says alternative face. I really like the grease on this character's face. She doesn't have it on the alternative there. She's just looking a bit more. Come on, let's uh, let's get on with this towing. And I like this character because he looks like one of my favorite YouTubers, Nomadic Fanatic, or Eric as his name is. He lives in a, in a, in a camper van or an RV with his cat, Jax. And I've been following him for many, many years. And this fellow, I don't know, but I, this is a, this torso has been around for quite some time, but it, I mean, it looks good on this fellow. You can't get enough minifigures with sunglasses, can you? I'm a bit bothered that we get four minifigs and just one of them are uh, is female and the other are male. I wish that they made the two women so it gets 50-50 because I collect female characters or minifigs. Well, actually, I wish all of them were female in that case. But with that said, I really like his face. He looks super happy if I could focus on him. Yes, look at him. So good. And I really, really love her. I mean, she's so pretty and cool looking with that smudge on her face, the oil or whatever that is. Uh, that's, that's just badass. I don't like when they're too pretty or I mean, I like that also, but I like, you know, a different assortment of uh, female minifig heads. So pretty good. I especially like these two. I could care a little bit less about that one. And I mean, uh, another Octown employee is always good to get. Let's uh, move into the city and see how I can fit in the car wash. So moment of truth, will this fit or not? And how the heck am I gonna get out all of these pieces? This is going to be very tricky because that <laughs> connects or this goes over here. Uh, I don't remember how I did this. I think I need to pop residential building up first come on you can do it or can you no I think violence will solve this problem or maybe if I just pop that out first because it's Lego you can always uh, take away some pieces okay so this exposes uh, that I have a tunnel underneath here with uh, for the train and as you can see there's really nothing going on here but that's a good thing because that gives us some space to go in further here. So I have a good feeling about this. Oh yeah, that works exactly. Hmm, but I have to do something about the tiling here. This doesn't look so good with the yellow columns there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a bit more work than I had expected. Expected. And how will this actually work? You go in here and then you have to back out again. I've never seen a car wash working that way. You usually just go through it, right? We have to imagine that this is a solution that's viable. Looks like the Octown train arrived just when I was building and we have a kind of traffic situation because uh, the commuter train is over here and then you have this digger that's doing some maintenance on the track. So it's a standstill right now, but whatever. Let's go over and look at what I've accomplished today. It took a really long time. So I managed to fit the car wash in here. I think it looks pretty good. And if I just could tilt this up a little bit so you see it better. And um, of course the car can go in pretty deep and come out and then it's washed and clean and looking mighty nice so I don't have to dust them all the time I can just wash them off in there and the mini fig that I like is here I added some bins here and some flowers for the residential building I've changed the mechanic fig into a female because this is a female only town and that's why we need all this kind of means of transportation like a train station, airport and bus station and roads so that the guys from the retro town can get over here on the yearly festivities called the insemination festival. A festival that's about a week long where they, the males and the females get together and reproduce. So 
this is the residential building I, that I built on top of the car wash and uh, I like this uh, sand green color I also have it on this building and you have the lime green in between so that's a little green theme going on in this, in this corner now you might wonder how do you actually get in here well there's a door inside here so when someone's washing the, their car you can't really get in or get out without getting wet but at the same time you get a shower so it's a win-win situation just like before i really like those profiled bricks that we have here the brick bricks as i call them are masonry bricks it just adds a little bit of detail while still having a very clean looking building now i don't really like the way this truck looks so i'm going to have to modify it i will probably make it into something more retro looking with a nice hinged roof of course so that's something for a future video here on the channel so make sure to hit my face in the round box and subscribe or watch some other videos and you know as always stay out of nonsense and stay awesome